Before we get started in this video, I do have an update on the K1500. Um, I just got a call from my the insurance guy. I forgot what you technically call them. Anyways, he's the guy that comes down does the estimate on the repair and asks the mechanic what's going on and whatnot. Um, he told me he's going to get to my policy first thing Monday morning of next week. Um, so that gives me at least Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to get the truck back, which... Again, hoping and praying, cross my fingers, dot my eyes, a whole nine yards. Um, I should get the truck back by Wednesday or Thursday. That's what they're, that's what they're thinking. That's what we're thinking. So um, if everything goes the way of plan, like I said, I'm praying, I'm hoping. I'm like crossing my T's and dotting my eyes and a whole nine yards. The K1500 will be at um, a Rod Run. Now... I will be doing a video next week, though, on Rob Run, of course, what my scheduling is. And it's going to have two different types of scheduling depending on when I get the K1500 back. So make sure you stay tuned into that, guys. But thank you all so much for the support again. I keep getting messages on it asking me what's the update on the K1500 and what's going on. Uh, I cannot thank you all enough for it. I'm responding to them as fast as I can, guys, but my life is crazy right now. And I hope you all understand that. And most of you, I think 95% of you all understand that. So thank you all so much for... Uh, you know the support and everything i just can't thank you all enough so enjoy the video okay guys so for this video it's gonna be like kind of like a little skit video basically um basically it's like a truck guy does a car review so enjoy the video <laughs> How's it going today everyone? Trucks and Water here and today I got an extra extra special video review for you all. It's on a 2018 Nissan Sentra. That's right, my rental car because my truck is in the freaking shop. Anyways, not getting off on the rant. Anyways, so it's a four-door saloon. I think that's what they call it in Europe. I don't know about these things because I'm a hard-blooded red American that drives a trick. But, you know, this is what the rental company got me. So um, what we got here, we're going to start in the front. We've got some disc brakes in the front. We got some, I guess, fancy modern day drums um, under the hood. Ooh, gunshot. Under the hood, we got a, if I can get the hood open, because, you know, these jet cars. We got a four-cylinder, boys. That's right. This puppy is a four-cylinder, making about 188 horsepower. And that little thing, about as big as a milk jug. Maybe milk jug and a half. There's a reference in there to something um, adultish. Use your imagination. But anyways, yeah, there's a, um, yeah, there's the mighty beast. So, how's this compared to my truck? Well, you know, it's probably faster than my truck. I'll be honest. And it's got a trunk that you can fit a small bag of groceries in yeah groceries not referencing anything else you can fit stuff in the trunk with but a felt line is nice and soft for those groceries that you put in here you know it's no it's it's is what it is so um so yeah we got a um i mean just i mean look at those lines i mean man these are so we got you know four doors on each side of course you got the driver's seat passenger seat in the back seat, which the best part about the back seat is, you can lay down for those, you know, laying down activities. I'm not referencing anything in particular, but you can do those kinds of things in the back of this car. And look, it's got oh shit handles. So when you decide to do rally racing, because it is a rental, you, when you decide to do rally racing, your passengers don't get scared half the dead. They can grab something to grab onto. So let's go into the cockpit and see what this beast is like. So jumping in the cockpit here, we got a um, your shifter with a more like a like a fighter pod, just bang through those gears, which is park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low gear. You got a charging port, your AC controls, your infotainment system. Um, you got your dashboard, which is nice and laid out. The horn works great. Beep. Man, that horn works good. You got your controls right here for your windows and locks, and my favorite part, guys, eco sport mode that's right guys this thing's got a freaking sport mode because you know four cylinder race car for life anyways so as you can see it's pretty roomy in here you got a um, center console you can hold all your center console things two cup holders a little slot for your phone or the keys oh that's right guys guess what this thing doesn't have keys look at this thing boom 
It's just a key fob, and it's a push button like a freaking fighter plane. You're in a freaking fighter plane in this thing. Whew. Anyways, so my most favorite feature is this part right here. Watch. It slides forward so you can rest your arm better when you're doing fighter pilot stuff or rally racing or delivering your groceries to your headmaster. Every four cylinder has to have a monster in it. Hashtag race car for life. Oh God. Anyways, so moving up top, you got a sunglasses holder, which doesn't do that great of a job. Dome lights. This one's got a mirror, boys. So when we're rolling down the road, we can look at ourselves when that pretty girl next to us pulls up in her Prius and wink at her like so. Just like that. Anyways, got one of them. One over here for your um, lady friend that you pick up at the club. Because you say, hey, babe, got a four cylinder Sentra. And the, uh, the next thing you know, you're waking up the next morning next to her. You have no idea what her name is. You have no idea where she came from. All you know is, you know, you got to get the hell out of that house. So anyways, now come to the driving part of this review. So to start this puppy up, it's even better. You have to put your foot on the brake. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at those gauges. And the Nissan Batch pulls up with a little Sentra. Look how cute that is. All right, guys, but make sure seatbelt's always on because, you know, when you're rally racing, shit gets real. So, there's eco mode. I'm going to put in eco mode first so I can show you what eco mode like. When... This mode is for when you have a girl in the car, you know, you go, you're at the club, you say you have a Sentra, she's new to the whole race car life, so you want to be easy and gentle on her, you don't want to scare her yet, because you don't know, you don't want to sit there and just roast the tires the whole way down the road, um, so this is what eco mode's for, you know, that 34 MPG live too, so here we go, we're gonna get on this road once you straighten out. those power shifts and then eco mode nice and quiet you can watch the sunset go down while you're driving down the road eco mode is also good for when you have your parents in the car or your grandparent and you don't want to scare because race car is life is life so that's why did the gentle cruise down the road so when we get up to this stop sign we'll switch it to normal mode I'll show you what normal mode is. Pulling up to the stop sign, you can really feel the front disc and the drums grab here in about three seconds. God bless. Yeah, that, that's definitely Brimbo brakes right there. That was definitely Brimbo's. So to take it off sport eco mode into normal mode, just press this little button and the icon goes off the dash. So then you go into normal mode. And this is normal mode. You know, you get to drive nice. We'll get on in here in a second. Man, those power shift revs. Oh my gosh. Now, normal mode is for when you get a girl in the car and says, Oh, I've been in some American muscle. And you're like, mm, Girl, you don't know what 188 horsepower can do in this thing. So you put in normal mode, not to scare her completely. And the whole goal is not to scare her because you're trying to bring her back to your place or possibly her place is the best option. That's when you wake up the next morning to remember. That. Anyways, back to my story. That's what normal mode's for. So, normal mode, you know. This is for also when your parents have been around some pretty fast cars in your life, but not as fast as this. So you wanna put it in this mode. So at this left-hand turn, we will now head up a back road and we'll put it into sport mode. That's right, guys. This is the mode that gets all nuts and crazy. So as we come up to this um, intersection, We're gonna stop it into sport mode. As you see on the dash, it pulls up a little thing. That way it's non, like, I don't know what the word is because I race cars live. So this is sport mode. This is when it gets, oh my God. Oh my God, the reds are up. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're hitting five grand. Oh, we're going, the dash is lying. We are doing 160 miles an hour right now. Holy shit, holy shit. Oh my God, I gotta back off. Oh my god, as you can see, it's keeping the revs up for when we gotta pass this car up ahead. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta use my Brimbos, oh my god. Okay, it's keeping my revs up. Okay, 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 we're gonna... Oh my god, oh my god, 
Oh my god, I, I, I'm literally crying right now. Um, holy crap. This Ford whatever in front of me has no idea what it has got in store for it. Holy crap, the guys, what this mode's for is when that girl just wants to go binockers, binockers, whatever the fucking the word, the term is right now. I'm just, oh my god, it's better than VTech. Oh my god. Anyway, like I was saying, this is for the girl that likes the adrenaline rush of a high horsepower Japanese car. Oh my god, we're up on the reds again. 170 miles an hour right now, guys. 170, as you can see on the dash. Oh my god, they had to put the dash at 60 and 70 and 80 increments like that. So, so it could be sold in the U.S. because of how bonkers this car is. Oh my god. I hope you all are experiencing the most amazing adrenaline rush like I am. Woo! Damn. Okay. So, that was, um, sport mode, guys. Um, I don't know, man. I might, I might trade in my K1500 for one of these. Um... Holy crap. One last time. Oh, oh crap, guys. Look what we got. We got a Corvette that has no freaking idea what's about to go down. It'd be one of the nastiest street races. C5 Corvette versus 2018. Hell breathing, fire spitting Nissan Sentra. Let's fucking send it. Trying to try and challenge it, he's not ignoring him. Okay, guys, like he just backed off the challenge. He couldn't handle the sheer raw power of this car. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this um kind of little skit video I made. It's not serious whatsoever, guys. If you all do own one of these, they're actually as I've been driving for the past few days, great economic commuter cars are actually it's very comfortable, you know, it gets 30 some MPG. I mean you know, it's just a it's just a skip video, guys. You know, don't take it seriously. But thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all for the support and love lately. As a Cape Town has been in the shop, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, you know, nine, um, you know, Monday I get the quote, and then it's game on from there. So it's coming down the wire. I won't lie. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Join the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing and changing and, you know, big and better stuff is to come, guys. Sorry, I'm from Swall, too. Um, so, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. All of you, have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.